guys and welcome to another episode of What's in Ellie's Belly and even more special I have my mom here with me in my kitchen and I'm using her knowledge in my kitchen. So if you guys want to make these cinnamon rolls what you're gonna have to do is go watch how we made the bread dough because this bread dough can make bread, rolls, cinnamon rolls, scones, a lot of things this bread can do. So go watch the original recipe for this and let's get going into our cinnamon rolls. Ellie, you know growing up, I've done these two different ways. Sometimes I'll put the flour on the cabinet, put that down and roll them out. Sometimes I like to put oil on the cabinet and roll them out too. And I kind of think that the oil keeps them a little moister yeah. than add in the flour. And if it's anything how I would do it, it would probably be too sticky. So I may want to use flour. You so might. maybe see how your bread is yeah. taking. This is this is pretty good. This cool. is pretty good dough. Anyway. Yeah. Do I do yep. it? Yep. Okay. You do I, it. I just I just put a little oil out there. Perfect. And go like this. Like I said, you can do it either way you want to do it, but I kind of like it this way. Okay. So roll it out. Got it. Okay. So we have, so this is half of the bread dough that we made because we used the other half to make rolls. So this, it can make a lot of different things. Yeah, that looks really good. Really good. Get the edges. Mm -hmm. Looks perfect. <laughs> it's a workout. It looks it's, perfect. Now we're gonna cover this with butter, but I've heard of people that use applesauce Oh. And Ruby uses pumpkin. And she says, you yes. don't taste the pumpkin. I've never done it with that. You tell us if you've used applesauce or pumpkin rather than butter to. Yes, I think because we are making it right now, we're using butter, well, but I yeah. think if any other time, I probably would try pumpkin. Well, yeah. Because I bet that would make it moist and. This is, um, this is just the way I was taught, so that's what I'm doing, but I, I do want to try. Yeah try the other and be generous with this real generous my guess would be next doing brown sugar yeah uh, no I like to do the okay. brown sugar last because okay. I want to see how much cinnamon I put on got it so okay put your cinnamon on there and I like that generous. this is why mom is here is to help me know what I'm doing Okay, does that look good? Yes. Okay. The other thing, and I don't know why I do it this way. We put brown sugar and we put white sugar on here. Okay. And I do not know why, except that's the way I was taught. Okay. I don't know why. Okay, the more so, sugar the better. Yeah, we, that's that's what we do. I didn't say these were And mom is, so free. how much sugar are you doing? Just your eyeballing yeah. it. Yeah, man, a lot. I don't know how okay. much, a lot. Okay. Just, just put a lot of brown sugar on there. Want to cover well, the you, sugar with sugar. Well, Come you see on. why we put the cinnamon on first. <laughs> yes. So see? see, and I had no idea. Right. Awesome. Okay, this is the fun part, Ellie. So this is the part where if you wanted, you could add more stuff. You could add raisins or whatever you want to add. Nuts. So, but this is the fun part. This is the fun part. You wanna help me? Yep. And do you roll it pretty tight? Yeah. And then when you get to here, you stretch it over. Mm -hmm. And I kind of pinch it. it. Awesome. <laughs> Mom is buttering the pan up, and then the fun part is dental floss. Um, because you gotta floss your teeth after you eat the sugary cinnamon <laughs> roll. So we're gonna take the dental floss after Mom butters the pan, and we will slip it under the cinnamon roll and cut it off and make cute little cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. We're using dental floss, but it's important that you don't use used dental floss. Yes, okay? nobody <laughs> wants your gross things and their cinnamon rolls. Okay, so you take your dental floss and you scoot it under the rolls and what, like two or three inches? Like just like a good, does that look good? Mm -hmm. This is my favorite part watching mom do this grow up. And then she cuts it. And she made it look so much easier. Oh, there we go. Good. good. And then when you put it on there, you put kind of maybe the ugly side down, so it looks a little you have presentable. Been You've been See? paying attention. I listen, but See? I nobody will know they've got the heel. They won't even know. Beautiful. So cool. And then when you put it on the pan, 
the part that um, opens up, put them inside so that when they open up, it's not opening up on the outside. They open up touching each other. Yeah, touching each other. Beautiful. So let's just let these rise while we're making our frosting and heating up the oven. Yes. Give them a few minutes. They can use a little bit. Okay. So about 375? Yeah. For how long? <laughs> With your oven? I I don't know. 10 15 minutes, minutes maybe. Okay. okay. Just keep Her an eye oven on it. Heats a little yeah, fast. My oven is really hot. Yeah. So um, 375 for roughly 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on it. We'll clean up and then we'll make the cream cheese frosting. Okay. While the oven is preheating at 375, our cinnamon rolls are rising a little bit and we are making the cream cheese. So mom, what order should we add the ingredients? So there's not very many. We have butter, cream cheese, two cups of powdered sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Or two. Or two, yeah, however strong you want it. Or you can use almond or orange. Okay. Yep. Let's mix these together. Okay, so a package of cream cheese mm -hmm. and a half a cup of butter. You can see it there. So you mix this for a minute or two and then we're gonna add the teaspoon of vanilla. Go ahead and mix that up a little bit and I'll add the powdered sugar. Okay. always a rule especially if you have kids in the house that they have to lick a beater and you specifically have to have the machine off you cannot be Bonnie that tempts Julie to lick the beater while it's on or you can't be Bonnie and put your fingers in the beaters while it's going so that's not safe but it's totally safe to lick the uh, beater when you're done and you always leave a good amount on there don't for the kids get, don't get so cheap with your kids <laughs> leave some on grandpa you want one sure you are so cute. <laughs> yeah, Jared and Dad got the good end of the deal. <laughs> that was so oh, good. It was really good. So this is the cream cheese frosting. Just beat it up till it's nice and mixed. You could add a little bit more powdered sugar if you need. Add a little bit less if you need. Get a little feel for it. You you, you want a good amount of frosting for your cinnamon rolls. Okay. So should we set this aside, not in the fridge? Uh huh. Okay. So we'll set this aside when the cinnamon rolls are done. Like we said. Look at your oven, but around 15, 20 yeah. minutes. We'll, tell, we'll, we'll update you on Sounds that. Sounds great. All right, there are our cinnamon rolls. That was exactly 15 minutes. And those are beautiful. These are homemade cinnamon rolls that we use, the dough that we made to make our rolls. So thank you so much, Mom, for helping me in the kitchen. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. This is what my mom grew up on. This is what I grew up on. This is what Jackson's gonna grow up on. So your recipe may be a little bit different. And if you have something that you wanna add, let us know in the comments down below. But this is comfort food. Yes, this is our home. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Mom, for helping me. Yes, I should love you. Oh, love you. We're both gonna cry in a minute, huh? <laughs> did, did the fireworks just like start like that? <laughs> Seriously, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, guys, and we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>